transfer recordings if you hook an external hard drive up and format the TV to give it a different look. So if you go format, you want to make sure you're on 1080 and 16 by 9. You can adjust the screen so you can scoot it over. And then cancel takes whatever's on the screen off. So right now I have the volume button running my audio speakers and I programmed that under auxiliary so I'm able to program this remote to my TV and my audio system and run my volume on the audio system and I'll do another video on how to do that and watch sling on this let's take a look over at my second room over here hooked up to a Joey and on this TV we have everything that we have access to on this hopper we have access to on the Joey so all my recordings same thing I can watch and then I'm watching live TV here I can pause live TV with the Joey I can hit play I can skip forward, see live TV, skip back seven seconds, and I program that to run the volume on the TV, not the surround. Um, it has all the same features as the hopper does, and we're all set up in HD in this room. So that is just an overview of the hopper and the Joey. In addition to um, some of the other things that we might look at with the differences on this box is um, that it's got a 2 terabyte hard drive and a remote locator button right there. So my remote is beeping in case I lost it in the couch. Fastest processor. It's got prime time anytime and it's HD in every room of your house. Um, up to four rooms per hopper. You can elect to put two hoppers in and do six rooms, um, which would increase your tuners by double, so giving you six tuners. And um, it is one fast box and it's been very reliable. Uh, it's been a whole home HD solution that we've been waiting for and it's the most advanced receiver on the market today, I wouldn't hesitate in getting one.